the concept of love and light is the most toxic thing right now in the spiritual community staying in the light always choosing the light there is a time and place where you have to operate in darkness where you have to set boundaries where you have to understand that your shadows are here to protect you they're like yo somebody is double crossing you now i'm not saying live in the darkness forever either and just live in that because you'll be cynical but if you're just living in the light you're delusional and let's be honest a lot of the people that claim that they're all light and all good ain't all light and all good but i never met a cynicist who ever lied to me all right and if we look at the high priestess she stands in the pillar of darkness and light that is what it means to be whole you have to walk through both paths you have to be in both all right when we look at the kabbalah the tree of life there is the pillar of mercy which is the love and light side and there is the pillar of severity, which is darkness. And to be a whole person, to be part of the universe, the whole universe itself operates in polarity. It means to have both sides. And it means to be masterful at knowing which side to call upon within yourself at any given moment in time. There are times where you have to step up to somebody there are times where you have to check somebody there are times where you can't always take the high road you can't always be the bigger person that is impractical and unsustainable what happens if somebody comes in your turf what happens if somebody disrespects your boundaries all right and there are people out there where if you're always forgiving them they're just gonna walk through even further and further like a doormat and when we think of this notion of turning the other cheek who gave us that story was it not a story spread through religion from colonial conquest that took your ancestors land that took your people's land all right so how am i supposed to turn the other cheek and why am i being indoctrinated in this always forgiveness this martyrdom narrative while colonialism still seeps poison into our bloodlines Generation to generation, y'all, love and light is a false indoctrination that makes you not take action, that makes you indecisive, that makes you far too passive. Love and light is delusional. And those who claim love and light usually got some suspect stuff going on, but I ain't never met a dark witch, a dark sorcerer, whoever lied about what they do. Again, not saying you got to do one or the other. You got to be both to be whole. Yin and yang, baby. There is always a polarity. There is always an opposite. Nature operates that way. Nature is loving and nature is wrathful. So are you.